Today we're going to demonstrate Firefox OS on the ZT Open device, as well as the Alcatel One Touch Fire device. First thing you'll see is that the lock screen is very easy to access. You have the ability to directly uh, select the camera and be able to actually take a photo right away, or you can unlock the phone and directly go to the home screen. The first app I will show you is the Firefox browser. By opening the browser, you will see that there are top sites, sites you visited previously, where it shows you very easy access. You also have the ability to bookmark your favorite sites by clicking on the star icon. And then on the top right, you'll notice there's an icon you can click on that allows you to access different tabs and create new tabs. So you can easily navigate between different content. Just like every smartphone, there's a dialer that you can easily contact and call your favorite people and friends and family. Then by clicking on the contacts, you'll see that you have contacts here that you can import directly from Facebook. By clicking on the settings icon, you can enable Facebook, log in with your credentials, and select all of your friends or a few friends and have them easily imported into the device. If you look at what I have here, I've already selected a few friends, but I can go in and easily update them, remove one of my friends here, and add in two more, and then I've updated my contacts very easily. From here, I can view their profile photo, I can look at their birthday, I can email them, or I can post a message to them. People love taking photos, so we spend a lot of time to ensure the camera application is easy to use. If I tap the application here, it launches the camera. You can see a preview, and I can easily take a photo. I tap the camera icon, and it allows me to take a photo really easily. It also shows a preview of it. Now on the bottom left, you'll see that you have the option to select the gallery. The gallery brings up all the different photos you've taken, and then I can go back to the photo I just took, tap on it, and have the ability to make different edits. I can change the exposure, for photos that are too dark, or photos that are too light. I can crop the photo as well, so that I can focus in a given area. And then I'm also able to share this photo via email, via Bluetooth, as well as I can tweet this photo to all my friends. Everyone loves to be able to find their location, as well as search for different locations. And we think that's really important. We've worked with Here Maps to enable the location experience. For example, here you can type in San Francisco, and it pops up, and you have the ability to click on it, and it gives you photos of the city, gives you reviews of different places and restaurants and sites. Then you also have the ability to get directions from San Francisco, say, to Mountain View. You can actually find the directions between these two locations, and you can click on different views, such as a satellite view, a live traffic update view, as well as, if you needed to, you can look for public transportation as well. The Firefox Marketplace is a great place to get content for your device. You can go into the Marketplace and search for games, different types of apps, interests that you have. One of the examples is you can search for Pop-It. You type in Pop-It, it's a popular game. By searching for it, you can get a description of the app as well as reviews. Here I can actually install the app and it will show up directly on my home screen. And then I can go to the home screen, launch it, and play the game right away. In addition to the marketplace, the web is filled with great content and web apps. We've made these available to users really easily using adaptive app search. So if you swipe right, you can see a search box in which you can type in any query and it will offer up a selection of apps that you can launch instantly or install on your home screen for easy access. Say I want to go out with my friends to a restaurant and grab dinner. By typing in sushi, for example, it returns many different apps. What's great about this is I don't have to go install the application or download it. I can instantly get my app and it adapts to my phone experience as well. And I can learn everything about sushi I want. It doesn't necessarily have to be about restaurants. There are many other apps I can choose from. So those are some of the great features from Firefox OS. This is a new operating system from Mozilla based on web technologies, which gives you a personalized experience with great performance that you'd want in a smartphone. Thanks.